All right, Tavon, you're getting ready to start your third season. Um, you're considered a veteran now. What are some of the things you're teaching some of the younger guys that are starting their first camp? Uh, same thing that the guys have taught me, basically be patient. Um, you know, I've been patient the last two years, and you know, I hope for my opportunity to come, and I just take advantage of all the things that come my way. Last year, from a number standpoint, it didn't really pop off the page. Was you frustrated at any point in time in the offense? I mean, any person would be frustrated, you know, definitely when you're coming from offense, you know, when you, you, you getting the ball 13 to 15 times a game and coming here and really not playing. But, you know, it was always a learning experience. You know, I, I took it under my belt. You know, I got better and better these past two years. And, you know, hopefully it won't happen this year. You know, I'm going to try my hardest out here every day and day out. And hopefully it won't go that way again. Coach Fisher wants a more run-oriented offense per se. And then it looks like you may get squeezed out of the mix, but I don't really see it that way. I mean, you know, Coach Fisher got his plan. You know, one thing I know, I trust him uh, from the previous years when I was a little boy. He definitely used to watch him. He definitely got a good plan. Uh, that's just going to open us up. You know, uh, he'll be running with, you know, Big Gurley and Trey Mason and Benny definitely open us up eventually. You know, we can't run all the time. So mm -hmm. basically, we, we, we'll get out touches and we'll be okay. Do you think uh, having a new coordinator, do you think that may get you more touches? I mean, you know, that's the plan. You know, uh, you know, any coach, you know, try to get, get some of their playmakers the ball. But if it don't work out, then, hey, got to do things that help the team out. You know, you know, I'm still going to block hard as I can. You know, I'm going to take the big special teams role. You know, hopefully I get it done in some type of way. I think one of the things that stood out was that you didn't show your frustration. You continue to be a good teammate. Uh, where does that come from? That's just, I just feel like that's all in your mindset and where you're from. You know, I always want to, well, I, get, I was basically always the best player on the team, you know, and, and it was kind of a change for me. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to stay prayed up. And that's the one more thing. You can't never see that nobody see you frustrated because eventually my time going to come, you know, and when it do come, you know, hopefully I'll be blessed enough to really blow it off the chops. And then when it really do, you know, the only thing I can do is thank God, you know, and I'll be okay. Do you think this could be a very well a breakout year for you? Because a lot of people think that it is, and sometimes it seems like guys in that third year, they really jump off because you had a chance to kind of assess what's been going on. Now you can really play without thinking. Yeah, but yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I feel like I got a lot smarter. Um, you know, Coach said, you know, he do a great job with me. You know, he talked to me, communicate with me a lot, you know. So uh, that's the main key, though. You got to get on the same page with Nick, and that's what I feel like he really trusts me, you know. Last couple of days, it, it kind of been. I, I made some big plays and I, and I made some bonehead plays too. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm gonna still keep pushing. Uh, I want to talk to you about Kenny Britt real quick. He has this an effect on the whole receiver crew. Is he kind of like the big brother for everybody on the in the wide receiver core and pretty much the whole team? Oh yeah, that's definitely big bro. Um, just his mindset. You know, we made him kind of come from the same type of you know a neighborhood. You know, kind of rough and, and that's how it is. So you know, he bring that that type of you know swag to the offense into the wide receiver room. You know, that's what I love. You know, I love how to play like that. So I, I'm cool with it. When you playing with swag, that's that's when you're having fun, right? Oh yeah, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't played with it in two years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my third year, I'm definitely gonna show a little more this year. Hopefully everything goes straight. Best of luck, best of health this entire season. All right, thank you.